This final migration step will unlock the full potential of Radian V2, so pay close attention. As most of you are aware, the Radian DAO recently made two major decisions. First, simply staking Radian wasn't adding any value to the protocol, so we've completely removed that feature. Now, users must lock DLP tokens or dynamic liquidity in order to earn protocol fees. Don't worry, the DAO made it super easy by partnering with Balancer and simply asking for LP tokens that are composed of 80% Radiant and 20% ETH. As you can see below, DLP is a unique approach to liquidity provisioning that is designed to reduce slippage and impermanent loss for buyers and sellers of Radiant. The second big change is that only users who meet a certain criteria can attain what the community is calling club member status and become eligible to earn Radiant emissions on deposits and borrows. So what does club member status mean exactly? It means that you have at least 5% of your total deposit value in DLP. So if I have $100 in deposits, I need at least $5 in DLP or dynamic liquidity in order to earn emissions. As a reminder, DLP tokens are composed of 80% Radiant and 20% ETH, so this would mean $4 of Radiant and $1 of ETH. On the Radian 2.0 homepage, you can see the native yield offered to depositors highlighted here. This is what anyone can earn whether you're a club member or not. These rewards highlighted underneath are from Radiant emissions and are only unlocked for those who have achieved that 5% or more DLP to deposit value ratio. As a reminder, as of this very moment, every yield farmer on Radian 1.0 is currently earning zero emissions and zero protocol fees. All emissions are being distributed to dynamic liquidity providers. So let's go migrate our V1 tokens directly into DLP. I'm simply going to scroll down to step one in the creating DLP section. In this box, enter the amount of Radiant you'd like to migrate directly into DLP. Down here in step two, you'll notice your ETH is automatically populated with the amount needed to form the DLP. If you need to borrow ETH, simply click this button here. In step three, you need to select your locking length. Remember, I am locking DLP to activate emissions on my deposits, as well as earn a share of platform fees. My options are to lock for one, three, six and 12 months, and the longer I lock, the higher percentage of platform fees I earn. Once I've selected my locking length, voila, I'm done. Simply click on Zap into DLP to complete the migration. If you have any remaining Radiant V1 tokens in your wallet, you can come back to this page at any moment and click on Migrate V1 Radiant from Wallet. And that Radiance concludes today's tutorial. If you're confused, that's okay. Radiance community is available 24-7 in Discord and Telegram, where I hope to see you come interact with our team and ask questions. For now, I bid you adieu.